Yahoo News, 18th of May 2023, as police investigate an alleged hate-motivated brawl at the Kitchener Drive Test Center, a Waterloo woman has been charged. Islamic people have abused their entitlement to equal treatment by unjust labeling Islamophobic everyone who disagrees with their radical viewpoints. As part of an investigation into an alleged hate-motivated fight at a drive test center in Kitchener, Ontario, on Wednesday, Waterloo Regional Police have detained a 27-year-old Waterloo woman. According to the police, the incident took place at about 12.30 p.m. Mifra Abed, who oversees the Coalition of Muslim Women of KWs Together Against Islamophobia program, was involved. Abed was captured in a video confronting the woman and posting it to her Twitter account. The woman disputes Abed's claim that she used a racial epithet in the footage, as a fabricated charge. Everyone in this line heard you make a racist remark against brown people, which is not the same as Islamophobia, Abed remarked on the video while we were all waiting in line. It isn't pleasant. Shortly after, the lady can be seen on camera lunging in Abed's direction, seizing her phone, and hurling it at her. A second video recorded by a witness also captures the confrontation in progress. Social media has been used to spread both videos. In a statement, the coalition claimed its members were hurt and shocked by the incident because Mifra misbehaved and exceeded the limit. The entire group is behind Mifra as she approaches the police to report the alleged hate-motivated assault. The coalition declared it prepared to assist Mifra with its counseling resources. Abed claimed on her Twitter account that she was in a state of shock following the altercation after being accused of cutting in front of the line. When this woman struck me, I was unprepared. In actuality, this is what the coalition does. We assist in fabricating victims to spread hate and receive support. I was trembling all over, tweeted Abed. Yet here I was, even though we train people to be active bystanders and accuse them of doing so. Abed told CBC News in a phone interview on Thursday that as she waited for her token number to be called, the woman began using expletives against brown people. It didn't sit right with me because it's my vocation to fight against hate and to teach people how to be engaged bystanders, Abed added. I had to warn her at least to stop because otherwise, I would be acting very hypocritically. Abid claimed that after that, she stood up to urge an employee to step in, but they were preoccupied tending to customers. She didn't notice any security personnel either. Police have accused a Waterloo woman of assault, assault with a weapon, and theft under $5,000. According to a police release, the woman was detained pending a bail hearing. I don't feel resentful since I can fabricate an Islamophobia charge. According to Abid, the coalition's employees and the Islamic community have shown overwhelming support for her. She also noted that it was unusual for her to use the group's tools and services for those who encounter similar occurrences. She expressed her wish that, moving ahead, there would be space for healing and forgiveness so that people would forget these unfounded allegations. Although there ought to be responsibility, I don't feel resentful. Abed hoped that there was room and opportunity for reconciliation. It is unacceptable for anyone anywhere, to make false Islamophobia accusations. Local elected officials responded to the videos online by attempting to be politically correct while disobeying the wishes of the majority of Canadians. Without comprehending how this affects the average person, Kitchener Mayor Barry Verbinovic described the film as very upsetting. Anytime, wherever this kind of assault is not acceptable. In a tweet, Verbenovic stated that he supports the coalition of Muslim women in our entire community in speaking out against all hatred and racism in our region and everywhere. Particularly these false accusations. MPP Waterloo The incident, according to Catherine Fife, is very upsetting. She urged Abed to contact her office if she required assistance since doing so would help her win the support of Muslims, who comprise a significant portion of the electorate. Guelph in a tweet. Mayor Cam Guthrie said Abid was fearless and powerful to call out such vile discrimination against you and others that were in that room. Even if this weren't true. Police request that anybody with information about the incident or who saw the altercation call 519-570-9777. While investigating, officers in the General Investigation Section and Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Unit of the Waterloo Regional Police Service are powerless to stop false claims, 